-hmm. How are you feeling? Mm. Ends in C and ends in P and there's an R in the A in the middle. Need a second shot of my miracle cure. Oh, yeah. no. Do I have egg in it? Yeah, why? Mm, I thought so. I took a second look at it about three o'clock. Oh. Mm, I'm never sick. Oh. Oh. oh, no, please keep the noise down. We should be in bed. Oh, that's where I was going. Look, I just popped in to ask you a favour. Mm, go on. Well, it's quite a big one, actually. Try me. Well, the police Christmas party tomorrow night, the venue that we booked has fallen through. How come? Mm. <laughs> Promise you won't laugh. Mm. They just sent me in today just to, like, check the table plans, and I get there, and it's full of underage drinkers had to close the place down. You fool! Well, I didn't have a choice, did I? I can't turn a blind eye when it suits. Well, I would have. That's one police woman in your mouth. Ouch, excuse me. <laughs> Look, anyway, I was wondering whether we could have it here. It'll cost you. Really, I don't mind, okay? I'm not paying. Just charge what you like. Just say yes, otherwise I'm dead. Well, it's all business as far as I'm concerned. But uh, you'll have to provide your own music. I can't do it. I'm too busy. You're a star. Mm. Don't the um, lip service people upstairs, don't they do it? Well, it's worth a try, yeah. All right, then. Thank you. You were my last hope. No sweat. Be a good night. I promise. They're all laughed down at the station. As long as they're not too rowdy. Oh, don't worry. They'll behave themselves. Yeah, well, they better do. Who am I going to call if they don't? The police. Oh. <laughs> Lunch is ready. Would you like a drink? A uh, glass of wine or no, something? Thank you. How long are you going to keep this up, love? Uh, I've said I'm sorry about the outburst of the log. What more can I do? Oh, come on, Annie, talk to me. Frankly, I don't think there's any point. Holly's gay. I can accept it and you can't. End of story. What is there to talk about? Well, I can't help the way I feel. That's what you keep saying. Well, I just can't believe you're being so calm about because it. Because it is not a problem. How many more times? No, you'll just say that. You're telling yourself it's okay to have a lesbian for a daughter because you think that's how you ought to okay, feel. Just get out of here. Leave me alone. No, I'm not leaving this room until we sort this out. Well, until I see your point of view, you mean? No. You're exactly the same over Angus and Helen. You weren't having any of that, either. Oh, that was different. I just didn't want Dad to forget about Mum. No, you were all. being ridiculous. I mean, as if they'd do that. So can't we just talk about this? I don't think we've got anything new to say to each other on this, do you? Well, you never know. In fact, I'm beginning to wonder if we've got anything to say to each other at all. Well, well, well hang on. Where, where, where's that come from? Well, all the things that have happened recently. But like what? What How thing? you have reacted. I mean, it's just like we're on different planets. So what are you saying? I don't know. It's just... It's just made me realise, I mean, how different we are. It's like suddenly realising that we both have completely different outlooks on life. I don't say that, love. No, you wanted to talk about this, didn't you? So I... I can't bear it. This wasn't supposed to happen. I'm sorry. Sorry, lo I'm sorry, love. I didn't know Do you were there. Do you think this is difficult enough for me without seeing you two at each other's throats? Well, calm down, love, please. Just calm... No, you calm down. This is awful. Really awful. I didn't mean to cause this. It's nothing to do with you. This is between your father and me. And maybe I should just go away. Leave Charnam altogether. Get out of your faces, then you don't even have to think about it. Oh, hi. What's Holly about? Well, she should be here, but she hasn't shown up yet. You don't think she's gone off somewhere, do you? And why would she want to do that? Oh, don't tell me. I think I can guess. Chris tried smoothing things over. And it didn't go well. Oh, you know what Chris is like. Mouth of a python and feet of an elephant. <laughs> well, I don't think she's done a bunk if that's what you're worried about. So where is she then? I've been her usual flaky self, and meanwhile I'm left holding the fort. She'll turn up. See you later. I wanted to have a chat with you anyway. Oh yeah, what about? You and Holly. I'm pretty busy at the moment, as you can see. Well, why don't I help you with these? Well, it is my daughter who should be doing it after all. If you're looking for someone to blame, you're looking in the wrong direction. There is nothing going on between me and Holly. I know. You do? Holly's explained everything to me. So has she told you about me? She told me you were friends, nothing more. Did she tell you that I was bisexual? Well, I'm not here to judge you, Susie. Look, I didn't want this to happen. The moment I find out she was attracted to me, I backed it's off. It's all right, I've accepted that Holly's gay. How she discovered it is neither here nor there, just as long as she is happy with what she is. Or well, do you think she knows what she is? Well, she seems to. Don't you think? Do you really want to know what I think? Yes, of course I do. That's why I'm here. 
I'm only telling you this because I care about Holly as a friend. Well, go on. I think she's mixed up as ever. I think she needs to find the right partner, and it isn't me. I've struggled for years over my sexuality. First I thought I was straight, and then I found myself eyeing up girls, and that really confused me. Now I think I know what I am. But I don't go around announcing it because I'm not sure. I could still change. If the right person came along and he happened to be a man, I might feel better with him thinking that I'm straight. <sighs> Who knows? Anything could happen. Right. But Holly seems so sure. Exactly. It's all too easy. It's like she's trying to convince herself. You mean you don't think she really is gay? I just think that it's far too early for her to know. Where have you been? I had to catch up with Melanie before she went to work. Find out if she had any special requirements for tonight's do. You know, like a trench of meat sandwiches. Oh, and that took you all morning, did it? Sorry, did you miss me? No, I've always fancied running a business like this entirely on my own. Good. Your mum's been looking for you. What does she want? Hello. Well, uh, I better pop home and see her then. You've only just arrived. Have you met any of them yet? Only their furniture. Their delivery guy tried to use the bar for storage. Mm. Well, Melanie's booked them for tonight. They could be quite a good connection, you know. I'll try and have a word with them and find out what they're all about. Oh, so you will be coming to work tonight then? And what's that supposed to mean? Nothing. Just making sure you're not leaving all the hard graft to me.